welcome back to the A to Z of human factors design science. We are back with a few more principles from science, which when applied to design problems, results in very interesting outcomes. Watch and find out. And we will be back with more. C for chromatic aberration. Try reading what's written here. The text feels like it's moving, doesn't it? The text blurs against background because of a contrast effect called chromatic aberration. Chromatic what? Let me explain. The lenses in our eyes bend light of different wavelengths by different degrees. As a result, colored stimuli are projected at different spots on the retina instead of converging at one spot. This is most noticeable for combinations of blue and red because these two colors are at the extreme ends of our visual spectrum and thus the blurring. So for ease of viewing and reading, blue on red or red on blue combinations should be avoided in user interfaces. D for Dunning-Kruger effect. If you've ever dealt with someone at work whose performance is poor and they're not only clueless that their performance is poor but they're confident that their performance is good. You likely saw the Dunning-Kruger effect in action. Humans are poor judges of their own abilities. Less skilled individuals suffer from an illusion of superiority, mistakenly rating their ability much higher than is accurate. Those who are below average in a skill are likely to lack the competence to recognize it. Those who are expert in a skill are likely to have the competence to realize what they don't know and tend to downplay their ability. H for hyperbolic discounting. Would you prefer $50 in your hand today or would you prefer to receive $55 in 10 months? Chances are you choose the instant money, despite the fact that waiting would give you 10% more. That preference for instant gratification is human nature. But it's also the reason why we have so much trouble saving for retirement or quitting unhealthy habits. Our brains are wired to prefer the immediate over the future. Behavioral economists refer to this psychological quirk as hyperbolic discounting. Here's a massive example. Millions of people are trapped in the vortex of debt because of the principle of hyperbolic discounting. How? Credit cards. Credit cards push hyperbolic discounting to the max. A buyer can have something of value right now. Just buy it on credit. Our need to maximize the expected value of a reward by getting it sooner rather than later is very powerful. 